Hey y'all, this is a quick um, overview of how we're going to do our binding for our journal page swaps. You'll need chipboard for your front and back cover as well as your spine. If you're going to use cereal box, cracker box, whatever, you're um, going to want to put two pieces, sandwich them together. You can either sand or not sand off the shiny stuff. That's totally up to you. Um, yeah, and you want to make sure you uh, that your um, cereal box is the same direction, that your words are facing the same direction, you know, both sides. Does that make sense? I don't know. You're, you'll see. You'll be watching. And you want to put plenty of glue, and you're going to glue both sides. Make sure you get your edges and your corners well. And you do want to smear it out, otherwise it's going to leave um, lines possibly. I like gluing the, the printed sides together. You can glue the other sides together just as easily, although it soaks up way more glue, but that's that's up to y'all. And uh, you don't need quite as much glue on the second piece. The reason for gluing two together is because one is actually just a little too thin and flimsy in my opinion, but you can just use one single piece if that's what you want to do. You don't, you know. It's all optional, y'all. Optional, optional. So now we're going to smack them together. And be careful, they can be, uh, they can slide around a little bit, but you really do want to smooch them up together. I have a, a wooden roller brayer thing that I, I do them together with and um, get it all lined up. You want to check your lining, you know, make sure that you're all lined up off and on. And I believe the measurements we're going with for the front and back cover is um, six, no, yeah, six inches by eight inches. Does that sound right? <sighs> Look on the paper, y'all. So once you get, uh, get it glued, you want to put it between two pieces of parchment that's cooking parchment paper, not the printing on parchment paper, and then smash it under books, or heavy books. Now, uh, this is a spine. I think I said, uh, well, I don't know. We'll have to refer back to the paper for what I said, the measurements. And the same thing, um, using a thin cereal box here. Uh, well, that's another kind of cracker box. And this is the reinforcement for inside the spine, which I'm centering. I did a, a little measurement on there so I can, well, <laughs> eyeballing would have been just as good. And I'm centering that on the spine piece. Same thing, you want to smash it, uh, put glue on both parts, smash it together really well. Be careful for slippage and uh, then you're going to press it under, uh, or put it in the um, parchment paper and put it under heavy books kind of thing. Once it's dry, and it's going to take a day or two, uh, if you have a crop of dial, well, if you have a crop of dial, bring it to class, okay? Because this is what we're going to do. I'll bring the eyelets. And I'll have the strips where uh, where we glue uh, or we adhere our two different journal pages together. But this is how I'm going to show you how we're actually going to do the binding. We're going to use uh, eyelets. Everybody only needs two. I have them. Okay, so don't go buy any. All right. Uh, I'm just showing you how we're going to do the eyelet. The measurement's a little different on our actual one. This is um, a sample. And smashing it on. And we want our pretty side on the outside. That's going to be the outside of the spine. And then the not so pretty side on the inside. And so that's the front and back cover. And we're going to end up uh, gluing that like that. Depending on how thick our pages are. And we're going to take the skinny ribbon, which I have I'm real sure plenty of skinny ribbon. At various colors, just so everybody don't pick the same color. Okay? So we're going to do that and you're going to roll that in there. I'm just showing you as a sample. We're actually going to put it in there four to uh, five times and then our pages will slip in underneath the ribbon and that's it. 
you can take them in and out you can undo the ribbon redo it whatever whatever makes you happy so now we're going to take that strip which i'm bringing those strips and the only thing you're going to have to do is fold them because i'll already have them scored for you and everything because i love you like that and we're going to glue one to one page pretend those are finished journal pages okay i know it's hard to see because it's white on white and we're going to glue that and now we're going to put glue on the other side over here and we're going to put the next journal page now make sure they're all facing the right way now on the other side and uh, you can kind of see in the video there is a slight gap there you want to leave a little bit of a gap it's not much maybe an eighth of an inch I'm not I'm not a measuring person so there we go and then that's done and then that will slip underneath the ribbon inside the journal and there we go okay so I think that's it we will do this again uh, on the 21st when we get our uh, journal pages and we'll work on this then so see ya